Welcome to Cable Project CAD, a feature-rich network design program which will streamline your design process and automates the following reports. Specification, rack designs, project 3D views, wiring logbooks, and 10 other reports. Let's see how you can complete the project in five minutes. On the start screen, we open a new project. You will always have a Learn To menu on the right. The first thing we need to do is to set the options. We can set the floor heights and all the ceiling heights, so as we have done that, we can click on Make Project. By clicking on the Next, we go to the floor plan. As you can see, you can upload JPEGs, bitmaps, DWG files. Here we go. Upload a drawing immediately to the Cable Project CAD. Once we go to Floor Planning, the first thing we can do is to scale the floor plan. We need to just identify two sections. We can stretch the line across the section, and basically if you know the size once the scales are added, it will scale the whole drawing from end to end. Next, the placing of outlets on the drawing. Basically we go to the components. Once you've clicked on your component, you can click and add with one click option. We can also do the numbering of the outlets, either sequential or personal. Here we go. Just clicking one for every outlet location across the drawing until we have required amount of data jacks. Next is the placing of the boxes and racks. We select the rack and the panel management we require in place in the closet. Next, we auto route the cables. We have three options. Manually, we can draw the main route or we can use the auto route. Here you see we're drawing the main route. It's not connected right now, but next we'll auto connect with outlets once the cable is added and dropped into layout. Then we have to choose the connection type. To add conduits or raceways, just drag and drop them from the library on the drawing with just one click. Next, we'll move to connecting to the different floors. Here we can just copy a new page, or we can copy the existing floor with components or without components. Or just install the interfloor riser by one click and showing on the bottom drawing or the top drawing how they connect or which panel should they be connected to. After that, we can join them to the current locations to the rack by one click and set the rack in position. It covers both floors. As you can see, we can zoom in and out and check the upper floor and click on the riser location and add more outlets as before with the auto route. Then we go to the rack design. We can see the symbols tagging. We can zoom in and out and see all the attached cables and patch panels as added. We also have the 3D view. Look to this so we can basically click to the 3D view and we can scan it up and down and see the whole network installation in 3D. That can be saved or printed out to show the customer. The specification report goes through every component that's being installed. They can be saved in PDF. The wiring logbook shows the to and from for each connection from the rack room to the patch panel across to the floor distribution and it gives an example and the type of cable etc. And it'll give you a total amount of cable to be used and the length left over. Then we go to project topology of the network flattened view which basically gives installers an idea of the basic setup from rack 1 and rack 2 on each floor. You can see that there's basically these jacks to each floor in a very simple manner. If you would like more information on the cable project, please contact us at the email and phone below to get your copy and start doing the network projects faster and more accurate.